So part of why units are so important, and part of why we're talking about this, is that you need to use units whenever you're talking about numerical quantities. So what that means is if I want to talk about a length, and I want to say that that length is, for instance, 5, I need to say 5 what? Is it 5 miles? Is it 5 meters? Is it 5 parsecs? And so I can say that this length is, for instance, 5 centimeters. So that tells you that it's a length, and it gives you some sense of what that length is. Now, any time that you write down a number that refers to a, a quantity that could have units, so for instance, a distance or a speed, that needs to have units. The few numerical quantities that you'll work with that don't have units are constants, like 2 or pi. Now, one mistake that I see students making is that they're so careful about units that they start putting units on things that shouldn't have units. So for instance, if I just want to refer to length, a variable in a problem, I would write that as L. I wouldn't write that as L centimeters, because L in itself represents some length in some units. Because clearly, instead of having 5 centimeters, I could instead express this as roughly 2 inches. It's the same length because it's literally the length of an object, like my pen cap, but I'm just choosing different units to express it in. So you would never say L centimeters or L inches, you would just say L. Now, where this gets a little bit tricky is that there are some unit symbols, like M for uh, meters, and common variables, like M for mass, that are going to potentially look identical. So if you have a problem where you think that there's going to be confusion between the two of them, try making one capital and one lowercase. And make it really clear when you're setting up the problem, write it out explicitly that you're doing it that way. You could also choose to use subscripts to make it really clear that you're talking about a specific mass, for instance, m. We would never write m for meters and give it a subscript. Uh, if you're doing handwritten work, you can think of doing other things, like trying to make it a little more cursive, but usually capital versus lowercase is the only thing that's very clear. So there's a few other things to be careful with that can really help with your problem solving. One is to make sure that you're only adding things together with the same units. Now, one thing to think about is that if you were trying to, for instance, add three seconds plus 5 centimeters, that clearly makes no sense whatsoever. That just doesn't work. But something that's a little more subtle is if you wanted to add 3 inches plus 5 centimeters, now these are both distances. You can imagine getting one distance in the end, but you still don't want to do that because these are not the same. So make sure when you're adding quantities together that you both have the same type of quantity, in this case this is a length and this is a length, but that you literally have the same units. In this case you had two different quantities, this is a time and this is a length, and obviously it makes no sense to say that time and a length can be added together. So please be careful about that. When you're multiplying or dividing quantities you actually can have different units that are combining together into new units, but for addition and subtraction make sure that the type of quantity matches and the units. This is actually a great way to check your work, and then later in this video I'll show you one example of how to do that. But this is really powerful to make sure that you haven't made a mistake along the way.